I am Mark Stewart, conservative Democrat who Republicans generally like because my conservatism is forthright. And many of them wish they could express it, but they're constrained. They can't get things done in legislatures. They can't get reelected um, by being as forceful. So I'm going to be forceful here, and it becomes a sad truth for Republicans. You're going to need another party. Your party has been so besmirched by media. I don't think there's overcoming it in this decade. I think there's still a way to elect conservatives. That would be from another party, not the Democrats, but another party that most of you would help form. I am trying to add to that by breaking up the Democrats. Okay, so where you see me as a candidate, it is to reform in the best of ways the Democrat Party that's gone so bad and basically sideline the few socialist leaders to the place that they belong, which is the Communist Party. Now, how does a new party get started? It's hard, state by state by state. It may take an election, but your chances in 2024 of winning the presidency are almost zero. Trump has scorched earth you. And the legacy, even if he's not the nominee, the legacy of media beating up on the Republican, no matter who he is, is so strong. If DeSantis wins the nomination, he's going to be nearly trumped. Okay, it, it won't be quite as bad, but he will be viewed by those who still watch. And unfortunately, there's a lot of them. NBC, CBS, ABC, MSNBC, CNN. They, 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 they will vilify him. The closest you can get in terms of electability is probably Governor Sununu. Okay? You have another way of at least in two elections, maybe not 2024, probably not, but getting good conservatives into power. And that is with voting in a newer party. Well, I'll say an old party. It could be the Constitution Party, which has been around a long time and deserves to be bolstered by the very people that I'm talking to. And probably if you look at their principles and meet the Constitution Party's candidates, you will find a very good affinity. The Democrats, I'm pretty certain, are going to end up nominating Gavin Newsom. And he's a lot tougher to beat than Joe Biden. Gavin Newsom has appeal. He has massive fundraising capabilities. And he's got a D next to his name while being sane. (laughs) Okay. This is hard to beat. Let me say why a conservative Democrat in certain state primaries, open primaries, might be worth your vote. In New Hampshire. We know who's going to win, okay? Donald Trump's going to walk away with at least 40% of the vote, the plurality. If you're not a Trump fan, but you don't see it making a difference in the Republican primary, consider briefly being independent, being allowed to vote for somebody who can punk Biden. Punk him by not beating him in New Hampshire, but showing that There's a lot of alternatives out there that Democrat voters don't have to be stuck with stooges so that Newsom as well doesn't get very far in the later primaries. Look, a relative nobody like me with the possibility right now, probably just 1% of the vote, who gets a substantial number of independents and Republicans turns that into 4%, okay? If 3% reduction from Trump from 43% to 40%, still going to win. But that extra 3% coming onto a 1% candidate who has a very good message and has a slate of people that you would like to see in office as cabinet members or running for legislative posts, you're golden. Okay. My 4% goal does make a difference because I'm pretty certain 
4% in New Hampshire will beat mm, a former governor, Asa Hutchinson, will beat a sitting U.S. senator, uh, Tim Scott, will beat a former Trump official, Nikki Haley. So it puts somebody with a lot of good ideas in play. Somebody who's not going to go all the way, but will get replaced by somebody even better than me. If you're really passionate and it's a close race come January when the New Hampshire primary goes off, okay, maybe you vote Trump or vote your passionate opponent. But if it's not even close, consider a candidate who can and will divide the Democrats who are right now America's biggest enemy. Their leaders are. You can help dethrone some of them, which for 2024 would be great work. I'm Mark Stewart.